finally, finally, transfer deadline is here. The transfer window closes, and this is for the FCAF Premier League and the National Super League NSL. Exciting stuff. And so we will review some of the transfers that we talked about. So stay tuned. So welcome back to Alpha B Love Ball. And as always, do check out our other social media platforms at Alpha B Love Ball. And so today we'll be talking about, or rather, we'll be reviewing some of the transfers during this transfer window. Okay, so most dramatic transfer, I'd have to give it to Tyson Otieno. Tyson Otieno was previously playing with uh, Kario Bangi Sharks. He had an exceptional season. Kill it, kill it. At some point, everyone was just talking about Tyson Otieno. And so... He was wanted by a number of clubs, he narrowed it down to Gorma and Kenya Police. And so, why I say this is dramatic is because at one point he was with one team, and the next he was with another. And so, he had even mentioned how he wanted to go to Gorma because of CAF, but eventually settled for Kenya Police. And we wish him all the best, despite Kenya Police having a really poor start, yet to win any game or score a goal for that matter. So more sudden, I have to give it to Mr. Elvis Lupia moving from uh, Kenya Police to Singinda Fountain Gate and so in Tanzania. And so all the best to Mr. Elvis Lupia despite me thinking that he was going to win the Golden Boot. Speaking of the Golden Boot, actually, uh, the player I think is most likely to succeed is actually uh, a player who has won the Golden Boot in previous seasons. And so Mr. Eric Kapaito of Tusk FC is a player, the number nine, the new number nine for Tusk FC is a player who I think will excel in Tusk FC. He knows the league, he's a goal scorer. Uh, he has, I mean, he was, it was unfortunate that he couldn't uh, sign with a Zambia, Zambia club after being released by an Ethiopian club. And so he is one of the players, he is actually the player I see succeeding the most. I think it was the event more than the transfer. It was the event of this, uh, of this situation that was shocking. Not the transfer itself because uh, the player I'm talking about is Christian Lubolo. Chris, uh, Christian Lubolo is formerly of Kibera Black Stars. He's an unbelievable, unbelievable talent. He's a midfielder. I've seen him play. I've played with him a few times. And so he's, he's ridiculous. He's really good. And so Christian Lubolo is actually... The situation he had with Sofapaka was very unfortunate. Sofapaka uh, signed him and then in the same window released him. Apparently he's training with Madari United and so I found that pretty shocking. And speaking of Sofapaka, I found the fact that they signed Humphrey Miano uh, a bit shocking. That there was a shocking transfer. Again, it wouldn't be the transfer as such, but it is the fact that the event or the aftermath of this transfer uh, Yuto Kusaba, who are very excited to see him play for Nairobi City Stars, may not be able to play for the first leg uh, due to some issues, uh, especially him being a foreigner and whatnot. Uh, the other is uh, John Makwata of AFC. Uh, he's also, he was signed by AFC after the international uh, transfer window was closed. And so he is another player who might not play for the first leg. So that's a bit disappointing. And that's what I would uh, classify as most disappointing transfer during this window. We've talked about Humphrey Mieno. And in our previous videos, we talked about the man to replace Humphrey Mieno at Tasca FC. And so Fabian is one of those players who have high, high expectations. Because already uh, he's been tipped to replace the skipper. And that comes with a lot, a lot, a lot of expectations. So the other player to have crazy high expectations is a player who did well in Tanzania he didn't do too well in the international friendly a lot of people have said that and so Kenneth Miguna at Kenya Police will have some crazy expectations I don't know there's a god guy who's from Rwanda uh, but I think it would have to be Rashid Toha for South I mean he plays for South Sudan he used to be their captain uh, he now he's been signed by Kenya Police I think that would be one of the best foreigners to be signed during this transfer window. I think he's going to he's going to excel. He has a good physique. Uh, during the international friendly, he was pretty solid. He went into some challenges, pretty, you know, leaving nothing behind. So he's one of those players who I think 
uh, is actually going to showcase a lot of potential and I won't be shocked if he plays for a few seasons and uh, moves to a bigger club or if Gormaya doesn't come knocking on the door that's if now if they're fully back to signing foreigners we had a lot of players a lot of players who were going back to their clubs uh, the previous clubs and uh, I know just recently we had a number of Lindsay players going back and so the best I have three actually I have Clifton Miheso that was a that was a good love story going back to AFC. Uh, we have Lawrence Juma after trying after trying out in Rwanda, going back to Gormaya, and then as we mentioned, we have the skipper himself, the Tasker skipper, going back to uh, going back to Sofapaka. We also had Timothy Oteno, who was he was tipped to be going back to Posa Rangers after ten years, but that's not likely. He's, he's, he's currently training with Madari United, but yeah, that that was actually it. Those are the players who. Uh, Returning to the previous clubs were well, the best ones I saw during this transfer window. That's been deadline day. That's it for the transfer window. Uh, looking forward now to the season. Business done for the FKF Premier League and NSL. Business done and uh, we're looking forward to it. NSL is actually kicking off tomorrow. Exciting stuff. We may go and actually see Kibero Blacks as versus Nairobi United. It's being played at uh, Ligindogo, so we're excited for that. 3 p.m. If you're able, do come through and check it out. Come see some Kenyan football. And uh, yes, sir. So yeah, so that's been it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching this video until the end. Do check out our other social media platforms at L4B Love Football. As always, do make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. And uh, yeah, we'll make sure to hopefully bring for you a lot, a lot of games, local games, FKF Premier League, NSL, Div 1, and the likes. And so we really hope to get that Kibera Black Stars game. It'll be late, it'll be late, especially with the players that they've signed. Anyway, as always, as always, support Kenyan football. We out.